A first of its kind, the training is being facilitated by lecturers from the Namibia University of Science and Technology, sponsored by Risk-Based Solutions. One of the facilitators from NAST, Professor Onyefu Silvanus, said teachers need training to have a full understanding of the subject and prepare the learners well to grasp the basic of science once they reach varsity level. Trusting that um, we will have an effective um, capacitation um, with respect to physics, chemistry and biology. Um, and at the end of the day, um, teachers in the region can have that boldness and uh, that firmness and handle all um, these STEM subjects and the, the, the learners will, will be upskilled with respect to the science subjects. One of the participants, David Lovinda, an HOD at Sundano Technical School, says the training came at the right time as most teachers lack practical training. Most of the problems that we encounter or the challenges that we encounter are perhaps uh, practical, the practical part of it, because uh, mainly some schools are not equipped with, so, uh, with the, with the uh, right uh, apparatus to carry out the, the practical, because uh, physics, like chemistry and biology, they are more related to practical. So uh, schools struggle with practical activities because we don't have, uh, we lack uh, uh, equipment, such, uh, I, mean, labo I mean laboratory equipment. So those are some of the challenges. And also, perhaps the textbooks. We, we really do not have enough textbooks, especially for this new curriculum that they have implemented. The Chief Regional Officer for Zambezi Region, Regina Ndopolovinda applauded the sponsors for seeing the need to improve education. And therefore, for many of us in the region who have been used to bad news, we at least celebrate that we are seeing the light this year with having additional funders coming to help us. It is a day where we rejoice because our cry towards academic improvement is being heard. Ndopolovinda also appealed for more stakeholders to follow suit as many schools in the region still lack the basics needed for education to take place conducively. Juliet Sivesa, NBC News, Katima Mulilo.